In lecture, I am going to discuss what calendar class in Java programming. So here, two important point. It helps to know system date and times, and it helps in storing a date and time value so that it can be transported to some other application. So now I am going to explain this code. So first here we should to use import java.util package if i commit that then you can see calendar class here not found kind of error message so here we need to utilize this package or if you want in place of uh, dot you can use here dot calendar okay so calendar now there is no any error that comes inside the code so this import java.util calendar package that require. Now after that calendar is the class that created the object C1 with the help of calendar and here get instance. Now let's uh, see about the get instance. So if I give the comment and here get instance that uh, comes there. So here this is comes under this java.util calendar package and it is used to get calendar using default time zone and local and the calendar return based on the current time in the default time zone with the default format local so this is about the here get instance so let's use there and this is the method now system.out.print so this display into the output screen so int so date here this is the date that uh, start from 1, 1, 2, 3, 4 and uh, this continue on 1, 2, sometimes 28, sometimes 30 and sometimes 31 according to month and now month that uh, start from 0 okay and uh, here that is start from 0 and January that count 0 and after that so that here I used plus plus pre increment and after that year that uh, is now that come from uh, 1 2 3 4 five, like that and uh, now this is the current time zone hour minute second so this place date and month I try to display date month and year and this place hour minute second and uh, here am and pm okay when that after uh, 12 that come then or uh, here or uh, when that or uh, am that come then it's equal to zero then that print good morning and when that am am value is now one so one equal to zero so that condition is false so that go to else part there that play good evening so there i'm going to write am value equal to zero and pm value that is equal to 1 okay and uh, after all doing this here when that equal to 0 then uh, that display good morning and when that not equal to 0 then that play that display good evening so it has two, two values 0 and 1 now uh, then after let's uh, run this code and check the output first so run file and uh, here you can see this is the output it's uh, displaying so calendar date so today's test you can now see 22 02 and here 20 22 and uh, current uh, all times that is uh, displaying now so this is about the first is uh, here you can see this is the date 22 and month and next is year and here you can see hour 3 and uh, minute and now second it's a uh, displaying and now you can see there is the c1 dot uh, so one more time going to run this so now you can see here so now here you can see this uh, is now uh, that is applied for pm so pm 1 not equal to 0 so that it's a uh, displaying good evening now you can see current time 3 59 3 and this is the date 